to a novin and vocoma miners welcome back happy tuesday to all y'all hopefully y'all had a good week it, it's been a bit since i've been doing this uh yeah like i said i ended up skipping last thursday I had that wedding to go to it was a ton of fun made a fucking fool of myself had some drinks but uh overall it was good congratulations to brian and Alyssa on your marriage may it last long and survive everything just because you know if i fuck it whatever <laughs> I'm not going to be a downer when it comes to marriage statistics, but whatever. I'm an idiot who got married too, so fuck it, whatever. But uh, yeah, anyways, so uh, we're going to play some more Madness. I've been having some fun with this fucking deck. Um, it's just funny. Um, you get to grind out a lot of games super quick because of how fast it is. There are some just like general non-games where your deck does literally nothing. I've also been running into a crazy string of black base decks that just either have all the fucking free removal possible with Snuff Out or like main decking fucking plague engineers and naming lizard and just like all the root wallers are just gone so it, it's been a little rough today but hopefully that means we're gonna do well in a league but we're gonna take it through have some fun see how that does um also found found another one of these uh g fuel that doesn't have a fucking flavor description it is uh clickbait so apparently it's gonna taste like uh internet tabloids something like that i don't know we're gonna see uh we're, we're a little positive when it comes to the g fuel tasting good versus tasting bad but uh, we're, we're going to go on that adventure together. If that doesn't work out, I got a local IPA to flush the taste out of my mouth. But uh, yeah, we'll hop onto this. Before we do, as always, thanks for stopping by. Smash that follow button or sub if you want to. Check out when I'm going live. Follow me on all the socials, especially over on the YouTube channel. Catch this stream and all the previous ones over there. Also, still working on another video. Um, so I should be posting another one of those up here in the coming week or so. So make sure that you hit the sub button over there to know when that thing goes live and then uh for all my bearded friends check out thebeardstruggle.com get some uh great great grooming products make your beard look as nice as mine but uh anyways let's go ahead and hop into a league um like i said hopefully because of how shitty i have been doing in the free rooms it means we're going to do great in the league itself um you know the whole reverse of what was going on before where i do great in the free rooms and shitty in a league but i don't know i'm anticipating a rough one today but uh get your bets in now see how we're or uh, see what you think we're going to do with this thing. I'm going to go... I'm going to say we're getting a 1-4. I don't have much confidence in myself today, but we're going to fucking figure it out. We're going to have some fun while we do it. Um, burner account 52. Okay. Okay, buddy. I like your screen name. That, that's funny. But uh, yeah, see how everybody did over the past week, what everyone's been up to, any good magic stories. I don't really have anything particularly interesting going on to talk about. Other than, like I said, went to the wedding, which was fun um pretty much the exact opposite of my wedding so like my wedding it was like just a couple people from immediate family and then the vast majority of it was uh do we want to keep this you know what? i think we do i think we will keep this it's a little slow but we could turn one burning inquiry get both of these hollow ones down and fuck up our opponent's hand or maybe not <laughs> okay well i guess we're gonna faithless looting then either that or maybe they take the faithless looting because we can control what we discard with that but this fucks up their hand so we're already starting up against a fucking black deck being duress i am going to assume that this is either storm or doomsday which doomsday has been a fucking rough matchup yep takes a burning inquiry uh, that's actually not bad i really don't know what to describe that as like I've tasted shit like it before, but I don't really know what to call it. All right, so let's see what we get here. Hopefully we have something good. Basking Ruwala ain't terrible, I guess. Um, like I said, I'm assuming they're on Storm or Doomsday, which means we're probably going to die super, super fast. Uh, hmm. Check Ruwala and Anger to start getting in, I guess. Like, we mine as fucking well. Um... So I did make a few changes to this deck. Um, so like after talking with my buddy, this is kind of his main legacy deck. He gave me a couple of ideas here. So we went up one anger and went down one Oxyvagonus in the main deck. And then we changed up the sideboard a little bit because as we saw last time, we cannot deal with fucking resolved enchantments. Like if we can't get them to discard them with a burning inquiry, we just got to hope we can work around and we don't really have a way to deal with them. So added in some weird tears in the sideboard. Hopefully that does some. So we'll see. But uh, yeah, so like I was saying, their wedding was kind of the exact opposite. Ours was mostly people our own age because it was mostly just our friends from out here because no one from home came in really other than our immediate family. And then this wedding, it was the opposite. It was like all family and the one little table of uh, all the friends. But I mean, it 
we got along great met some good people had some fucking hilarious conversations and a good time it, it was a lot of fun so, again congratulations to brian and Alyssa. happily ever after for you guys here but uh all right so yeah this is definitely doomsday if they're grabbing an underground sea Okay, so we're potentially dead next turn. Um, or essentially dead next turn, I should say. Because like, if they pop off a Doomsday, it means they have a pile. The only way we can fuck with a pile after they popped off Doomsday is if we end up doing a Burning Inquiry. And then we just gotta hope that they don't have any way to interact with it. But uh, these guys do play uh, Force of Will, so there is a possibility. Also, them seeing that we have Burning Inquiries, they might specifically wait until they have a Force of Will to be able to pop off. Um, the only other way we could do this is if they pop off a Brainstorm and don't go off that turn, and we can flood the board with an ex enough damage the following turn to be able to kill them. So, unfortunately, we don't really have anything going on in our hand at the moment. So, I don't have high hopes of being able to do anything here. Okay, so they're going for the Doomsday next turn. If we can hit a Burning Inquiry, that would actually be pretty sweet, because then it would fuck up their Doomsday pile, potentially. Well, apparently Ask and Ye Shall Receive. Uh, Magic Odds? Discard the Doom... Oh, oh, they have Force of Will. Okay. Well, that means we're probably dead. Um, unless we can hit another Burning Inquiry... We're probably just dead here. But we will find out. Like, there's nothing we can do here, so we'll just let them pop off, do their thing. They're going to cast their Doomsday. They're going to make their... What? Oh, they're just having their mana run. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, so like I said, really the only thing we can do against Doomsday is we either kill them faster than they can do anything, and we kept kind of a slow hand. Or, like I said, if we can, set up... Like, if we hit another Burning Inquiry... We might be able to get them. Um, otherwise, we need to somehow flood the board to deal eight points of damage. Which, if we get something good to be like, so a lion's eye diamond doesn't do it. If we hit, I'm trying to think of what we can actually hit here to be able to get eight points of damage. Like basically, we need. We would need to hit like a fatal looting. And then be able to find a land off of the Faithless Looting. So, I mean, I guess there's, there are ways we get out of this. But they're just not looking particularly good at the moment. But I guarantee you this means we have one turn to do this. Plateau doesn't do it. Well, does it? So what? Uh, we can Plateau. Play Plateau. Play Faithless Looting. I'd fuck, I'd still need a way to discard something for free. So, I mean, there's still ways out of this. They aren't very good. Uh, I don't think we hit it. Because, what, this is going to be too discarded. But yeah, we can't do it. God damn it. If we had hit, like, a Street Wraith or something, we would have been able to play the Hollow Ones for free. So, unfortunately... Yeah, we weren't going to draw what we needed there. Okay, so we can kind of slow them down with Deafening Silences a little bit. Um, our Graveyard Hate's kind of slow, so we can take that out. Like, we can kind of screw them up a little bit with Artifact Hate, but not a ton. So I don't think it's really worth it bringing that stuff in. I think we just Deafening Silence and try to race them. Like, this is a super coin flippy matchup from what I've seen so far. A lot of it comes down to, do they have the Force of Wills and Interaction? Um, I mean, another thing we could do, I guess, is they might bring in, like, Ley Lines. So maybe we want to do that. Like, Trim Another Anger. Um, I want Trim an LED. Well, let's just submit this just to be safe so I don't fuck myself over here. Um, I always feel... I always feel kind of weird, like, boarding out Bench Vines. But if I think they're going to have... Um, whatchamacallits, maybe I should, like, trim one uh, ley lines of their own. Because, I mean, yes, theoretically, we can actually cast these, but the chances of us actually doing it are slim to none. Like, we're very rarely getting up to four mana. A lot of times, this deck is kind of just functioning off of two, so... 
I don't know. Like I said, this is a very, very strange matchup to me. Um, maybe it's from a hollow one also. Like, it feels weird boarding out our bigger threats, but I think this might be the correct way to do this. Bring in some amount of hate. Either that or maybe we should, like, oh, oh, too late now. All right, so. Fucking keep it. <laughs> Please don't force a will me, bro. Well, this might, I mean, this is okay. Um, please don't force a will me. Please. Oh, motherfucker. Yes, no, no. Are they letting it go? Uh, force a negation? Cocksucker. All right. Well, we probably just lost this one. I know we were hardcore hanging on in on that thing, but uh I mean maybe we draw another one. We got three more. Um We're we're probably just fucked here though, because this deck does not have many lands. Well, we're talking fifteen lands, three more LEDs. Okay, yeah, we're just kinda fucked. Alright. Well we tried. We tried to go for the blowout. We got blown out, so Sometimes it happens. Like I said, sometimes these just if this is a doomsday, we're just gonna scoop. Shouldered. Well that's interesting. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna scoop. Alright. So sometimes we get blown out. Sometimes we take the risky line. I mean, we knew that was a possibility. Oh well. We tried. <laughs> Like I said, I can't I can't really say too much. This deck is either gonna do what it's gonna do or it's not. Like that's why you can grind through so many fucking games so quick with this. Like I would not be surprised if we managed to get two full leagues in tonight before I gotta go. Also, uh, the wife is not going to spin today. She may have broken her finger. Slammed in a car door this morning. It doesn't look good, but she can move it, so and like it doesn't look like there's any like any of the tarsals or whatever the fuck they are, metatarsals, phalanges, whatever whatever the fucking bones in your fingers are. It's been a while since I took a human anatomy. But uh none of them look like they're fucked up or anything. I think she just did some muscular damage and probably bruised the fuck out of it, but she doesn't want to risk injuring it more going to fucking spin tonight, so they'll actually be home and she wants to watch Supernatural, so I might be able to squeak a little bit extra time out tonight, but we'll see. Also, before I forget, thank you, Brokish, for the follow last week. I appreciate that. Didn't want to forget that shout out there, so thank you. Um, well, like I said, if we keep doing shit like this, this is going to be a quick league. We're already on par for that uh, one four that I'm saying. Well, we might get one win out tonight. I don't think we'll fly, but I, I don't have high hopes that we're going to do two, two, three. So we'll find out. Um, I actually don't hate this. I think we're going to keep this. This is going to depend if we run into it. Okay, so this is probably either Mono Red Prison or Burn. In which case... Okay. So we want to cast you. Check the Vengevine. Check the Root Walla. Cast the Root Walla. Get the Vengevine back. The nice part is, is our opponent is F6 through the turn, so we're, we're just going to do things now. And please don't fury me, bro. The nice part is, is we can Anju's, if they don't kill his putrid imp, we can Anju's Ravager next turn, or Angie's Ravager, however the fuck you say it. Kululipa! Yeah, it's a modern red prison. Magus of the Moon. Well, opponent, I don't give a flying fuck about that. <laughs> I appreciate oh god damn it motherfucker okay I give a fuck about that that I do much give fucks about um well I can't cast it this turn anyways well we had a feeling something like that was gonna happen okay Honor Horizons 2 coming to be the fucking fun police well let's cycle let's see what we hit okay so I'm at least gonna get a hollow one down which is nice um I mean we'll get rid of one of these. I guess we'll get rid of the burning inquiry. 
don't particularly care about that. We can't cast this, so I don't really care that much. Um, we're trying to set up so that we can Anu's Ravager next turn. We'll just play this guy, get in. We'll see if your root or if you're gonna block the root walla. I highly doubt it, but you never know. Nope, not gonna block it, so we'll pump it. And we're just trying to get in here, like luckily they shut off their own soul land. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. I still do have three mana. Jesus Christ! What the fuck? Just double the okay. All right. Well, the nice part is, is at least we got another fucking Anji's Ravager. All right, get in, bud. That's a Vengevine that I'm like basically never gonna cast. All right, let's see. Do they fucking like top deck a fucking red card plus Fury number three now? Like, what the actual fuck? Like, if they get a third Fury, then I am just taking this as the Magic God do not want us to even play magic tonight <laughs> all right it wasn't fury into another fucking red card all right they're holding their magus back now um uh, fuck it we're losing our hand anyways okay 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 i don't hate that i don't hate that at all uh, we're gonna cast this. We should have a Faithless Looting in the Graveyard, right? Yeah. Um, so what do we get a- okay, they check- ooh, Hazorat! I haven't seen that in this deck. Uh, cause what? I- fuck it. You know what? We're here to game. We're gonna fucking game. Maybe I'll luck out and hit another fucking Rootwalla. Nope, another Vengevine into a Hollow one, which that kinda sucks a little bit. But... We're gonna attack, see what happens. Our opponent is in top deck mode. We refuel. Can't actually cast any of this, which is mildly annoying. Oh, 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 they're blocking? Do I care? Like, I can kill this, but then it opens up their mana. Like, do I actually want to kill this Magus of the Moon is the question. Like, it opens up their mana, but it also opens up our mana to actually do things. How much do I care about this? <laughs> I think I do. I actually think I do want my mana open. Because as long as they don't Blood Moon us again, we theoretically can just cast Avenge Vine next turn. And then that Avenge Vine should be lethal. Okay, well, they scoop it up anyway, so I mean, I guess that works. Um, so, Mono Red Prison with some interesting stuff. The, ha the Hazard's interesting here, so what do we want? We definitely want Art. I mean, bring in all the artifact and enchantment removal, I guess. Um, debating about this meltdown probably isn't worth it. I'm assuming they're bringing in all their graveyard hate. So I can probably take those guys out. Probably take A Anger out. Um, up against a deck that wants to be aggressive. I don't think I want these street rates. Um, maybe bring in two firestorms. Something like that. Because these can take care of like goblin tokens and shit. So maybe maybe try something like that. The nice part is, is I don't think... I mean, I guess I could have a Tormod's Crypt. They shouldn't have turn zero or turn one graveyard hit. I mean, I guess I could have Tormod's Crypt. They could have... Um, ooh, I actually like this, because this doesn't give a flying fuck. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Nope, I'm an idiot. Don't mind me. Well, actually, mm, depending on what they do here, we might have some targets for this. <laughs> I need to draw a fucking Black Source. I totally just, like, spaced that this is a Taiga. Because I thought, oh, we're going to putrid in, pitch the root wallas, pitch the lion's eye diamond, run out this fucking hollow one. <laughs> well, that's problematic. Uh, turn one Trinosphere is not good for us, especially when we have even more shit like that. Okay. Well, this one might just be over. 
if we don't hit lands, and the chances of us hitting lands are actually pretty low. Unfortunately, I guess luckily our opponent's not really doing anything. Um, we can't fucking cast the Ruelas anyways, so I don't like where we're at. We might just scoop this up. Yeah, we're just gonna scoop this up. Like, turn one Trinisphere, we literally can't do anything about. <laughs> um, okay, well, like I said, sometimes you get some non-games. Oh, yeah, we were, we, fuck, we were not drawing a land any goddamn time soon. Okay, so, I mean, we boarded properly. The problem is they literally just had a turn one Trinisphere, and we only had a single land. So, again, coming down to the uh, play-draw difference there. <laughs> like, if we were on the play, I feel like we actually would have had a really, really good hand, but... Um, I don't hate this. We're gonna keep this. It's a little slow. It's a little iffy versus a fucking Fury also. Like, they could just Fury our whole fucking board away, which would be annoying as shit, but... Leyline of the Void? Okay, that, that's fine. This hand doesn't give a fuck about that. I am mildly concerned about just getting blown out by a fucking Fury, though. Hello? Hello? What 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 is going on here? What okay, there we go. Moto's back. <laughs> um so yeah, we're not going to actually play these rewallas yet, because I don't want them to just figure the whole board away. I'll cast them in response to them killing a putrid imp. If that's what they do. Okay. So We're gonna play it a little slow. We're, we're gonna play a little more conservatively. Um, I guess we'll do this. Get in. Like, there's a part of me that wants to just start like going to fucking town here, but at the same time, again, I don't want to just get completely blown out by a fury. So I'm trying to play a little more conservatively. Squeed dubious goblin. That's interesting. Okay. Well, since okay so they're just going aggro like hardcore i would very much like a firestorm now actually either that or some way to just start like churning through our fucking deck uh we already have a taiga let's grab another badlands that is not exactly what i wanted uh, I guess we are going to go one more hit, see what happens, see what we can draw. We'll probably run this out just so we don't get got by a Trinisphere. So, as much as I don't want to, I think we're going to kill this fucking Squee. Like, I don't want to run out of Root Wallet just for the sake of blocking a fucking Squee, but... We gotta stem the bleeding. Oops, wrong color. Probably should have done that last turn, but oh well. Shit happens. Okay, there's a wear tear. Um, the problem is I don't have a plateau. I probably should have grabbed one. But oh well. Shit happens. Um The question's gonna become what can our opponent do here? Unfortunately we're drawing into literal fucking nothing. Four mana. Fiery confluence. Why doesn't it say what they're doing? We do plead one damage to each creature. Okay. Wipes their board too, which is nice. <laughs> Into a fucking rabble master. Okay. Well, this one's probably over unless we had a fucking firestorm here. 
Avenge Vine, we can't. Yeah, this is over. We're, we're just going to concede. All right. Well, as I said, this is probably going to be some fucking quick leagues. Um, unfortunately, like I said, this deck does kind of just fucking play itself sometimes. Um, and apparently the Magic Gods just don't want us to fucking play Magic today. That is what I'm finding out. Well, if we have to, we might switch over back to that Karn, or, uh, Wheel Stoppy deck we were playing, because I was having good luck with that, but... I want to play something a little bit faster, something a little bit... I can get games in a bit quicker, but... So far, things are not going particularly well. Oh, apparently that was this guy, so not only... Like, I don't know, I've thought about playing Mono Red Prison, but... Like, I like Prison decks to a certain extent, but, I don't know, there's something about that deck that I'm just like, it's boring to me. Then again, who knows, maybe this fucking deck's boring to everybody else. Let, let me know what you think. I don't know. I really haven't decided what I want my main Legacy deck to be yet. Like, for a while I was thinking maybe a Reanimator, but, I don't know. It's just such a common deck, I don't know if it's really fucking worth it or not. Um, I guess we'll keep this. This actually is not a bad hand at all. Okay, so we're finally seeing Delver, apparently. Either that or this might be a cast. If they're targeting themselves and popping that, it means it's Delver. So I guess we'll get to see how this does against Delver. Um, let's find the fuck out. Ooh. Excuse me. Okay, so that resolved. Um, we are going to play it safe. And go grab a basic. Let's see what this does. What do we hit? Or does this get a fucking force? No, it does not. Uh, Anji's Ravager. And an Anger. You know what? Fuck it. We're, we're going to have some fun. Hopefully they don't just have a Lightning Bolt. Well, we wheel them out of a Lightning Bolt. <laughs> Hopefully we didn't wheel them into another one. Hopefully we also didn't wheel them into something to be able to counter this Anji Ravager. The fact that they're taking so fucking long concerns me. Did we wheel them into another force? Yes, we did. Fuck. Alrighty then. Well, this game might be over already. Apparently we're just going to hit all the matchups that they don't want us to fucking do anything with. Well, since this is going poorly, um, I guess we're going to find out what happens. Like, we just blew our fucking load and spun them into everything they could possibly want, so it's a little annoying. Are you going to bolt the... Both the Ruwala just for the Rubbins? No, Delver. Well, if we can get that in the graveyard, that wouldn't be bad. Well, we're going to see if they're willing to lose their Delver. I'm going to guess not, because they... Well, I guess they brainstormed and then they fetched, so... They are just going blind here. Like, if we can find a way to get this Ox into the graveyard, like, another LED wouldn't be bad. Alright, shut up Misty... Why'd they reveal a Misty Rainforest? Getting in, okay. Into a hollowed one that I literally can't do anything with. Okay. The battle of the one ones. Okay, okay, okay. I can't do anything, so do your worst, buddy. Expressive titties, got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. I'm gonna play that. So now they're probably going to either find removal or a counterspell. Uh, decided on a ponder. Okay. So I'm assuming that means they're probably found a force of will. Um, so I still need a way to get the ox into the graveyard and have some mana. So like, again, a lion's eye diamond without them fucking... Ooh, chose to shuffle. That's interesting. Well, I found another land. Yeah, like a lion's eye diamond. Oh, I mean, that's a redraw. <laughs> oh... 
fuck. Okay. Um, this one, this was probably over. I should probably scoot before they see more of my deck, but at this point also, like, what the fuck is the point? So, this actually might be the good old, uh, 05. So, but again, we're going so fast, we might actually be able to get two full fucking leagues in tonight. Mystic Sanctuary for what? Lightning Bolt? Oh no, for Expressive Iteration. They don't even care about this Ruwala, shit. No respect. No respect. What are we hitting off the Expressive Iteration? What are we hitting? Mer <laughs> okay, uh, so maybe we're not in this one. I don't know, I guess we'll find out. Um, just, just a casual 8-8. Eight, eight. We're dead on the crack back. Let's help him out a little bit. Okie dokie. Um, so against this, we're going to bring in the Graveyard Hate to try to stop them from being able to actually play Murktides. Um, apparently, like I said, apparently the Magic Guys just do not want us to fucking play tonight. Uh, we're going to bring in the Deafening Silences. They're going to bring in their Graveyard Hate. Take out the Street Race because our life total actually matters here. Trim A LED. Trim A Anger. Firestorm isn't awful. Maybe bring in two of these. Yeah, maybe I'll trim the Ox. Try something like that. Yeah, apparently uh, we're just going to... We're going to be all about rough matchups and our deck just isn't going to want to fucking operate today, so... But it happens sometimes. Uh, yes, I would like to play first. Um, so we got double ley line, which is nice, but I don't really have anything else going on. Um, because I mean, I can pop the LED, get the Ruwalas out, but that's not going to do anything. Eh, I guess we can try this. Ripple burning inquiry. So I guess we're throwing an inquiry to the bottom. Um, let's try Faithless Looting first. Uh, we're gonna pitch Vengevine and Anger. Then I guess next turn we're gonna land Burning Inquiry and hope for the best. I don't know what our opponent capped, but I mean, we can't do anything, so. What, they just got like turn one Graftigger's Cage or something? Oh, turn one Delver. Okay, that's interesting. And Tool Bobble. To see what I'm drawing. Okay, that's fine. The nice part is, is even at the counter of the first Burning Inquiry, I've got another one. Um, well, here's praying that we do not accidentally pitch this hollow one. We did pitch the hollow one. That is fucking annoying. Okay. That sucks. Cast this. Uh, cast a Lion's Eye Diamond, I guess. Burning Inquiry number two. <laughs> Still, oh, god damn. Okay, um. I mean, I guess go for the Faithless Looting? See if we hit anything relevant that we can cast. Like, another Ruwala would be great so that we can get the fucking Vengevine back. And our opponent's going to daze it. Well, this one's probably gone as well. So, like, this is kind of what I mean by sometimes, like, your deck just plays itself and doesn't do anything. We, we went a quarter of our deck and did not find jack fucking shit, so... I mean, it happens. Probably gonna flip the Delver. Yep, flips it with a Hydro Blast. Wow. I don't see him bringing in a Hydro Blast very often. Well then, okay. Uh, bringing in Anya's Ravager that I can't do anything with anyways. We're probably just gonna die. Uh, well, we're already 0-3, which is annoying. And we're, what, 
12 minutes into the fucking stream? Uh, it, huh? There's no way it's only been 12 fucking minutes. The fuck happened? Did my shit, like, glitch out for a second or something? I don't know. Um, I guess we'll see if they... Oh, wait, they can't block with the fucking whatchamacall. I should have pumped it, but whatever. Probably just gonna save their counter spell and just, like, let this stupid root walla live. And do another Delver. Yeah, they're they're just gonna say the counter spell, so I'm not I'm not even gonna be able to do anything. Yeah, all right, on to the next one. Like I said, this is gonna be a fucking quick one, so uh, let's see if we can at least get half of our fucking entry back. This is uh, a little disappointing, to say the least. Well, let's see if there's anything else that catches my eye, cause this is not going fucking well at all. Uh, any cool decks win anything, like, even fucking relevant recently? I could try my ass at Painter. Because I know I'm not very good at it. But we could try it. Uh, we could also try to fumble fuck our way through Elves, which... It doesn't matter what I do, I just cannot fucking figure that goddamn deck out. But maybe it's worth fumble fucking my way through so y'all can watch. It's actually interesting seeing fucking Reanimator slowly dropping down the list of shit to do. Um, it's also funny that Hammer is becoming a thing in Legacy. Uh, that's kind of crazy to me. We could try deaths. That, that might be something worth giving a shot. I don't know. We'll see. It, apparently Madness is just not wanting to fucking work today. But again, it happens. Okay, so apparently... I don't know. Maybe if I internet shit out for a second there and that's why I like, reset my timer. But somebody let me know if internet just like randomly decided to shit out for some reason. Guess we'll find out. I also think I finally figured out how to fucking tell if like search what people are playing by fucking format. I'm this nifty little website. Which hey, I'm actually popped up on there. It does show that I am playing Legacy. Along with one other person who has 257 times the number of viewers that I have currently. <laughs> uh, oh well, whatever. Alright, come on. Let, let, let's, okay, we finally have another opponent. Coinman1863. Will our deck actually let us do anything? It's going to be the question. My money is on me. This isn't really... Oh, fucking Yorion. Damn. Um, I mean, I guess we'll try this. So, like, this is a turn one Vengevine. What do I want to put back, though? Put back the Inquiry. Hopefully this isn't, like, Yorion Control, and it's actually, like, Death and Taxes. Nope, it's Yorion Control. Cool. Probably means they have force of will. We'll find out. Please do not force my putrid imp. Well, the nice part is, is I got a backup. Did our opponent F6 through the turn is the question. Ew. All right. Are you a cocksucker with a main deck? Fucking whatchamacallit is the question. And being Yorion, he's probably just got like a solitude and is just gonna wreck my shit here, but you never know. I'm gonna hold off from the other root wallet for now, just in case like something happens and I need to cast multiple creatures in a turn again. I can't attack with it anyway, so like I also could just like pitch it end of their turn next turn. So, like, at the end of their turn now, I could just pitch the wall to get it on the battlefield. So they're probably looking for a way to deal with what I'm doing. Because, like, if they end up going, like, Lightning Bolt to kill this thing... Alright, so I am going to hold off for now. I'm not going to actually pitch it yet. Okay, so we got a Scalding Tarn. Let's see what we hit here. 
Burning Inquiry, Rootwalla, Rootwalla? Um, you know what? Fuck it. We're gonna check the Rootwallas. <laughs> then we're gonna Burning Inquiry and see what happens. Uh, okay, they scooped it up. Apparently they did not like me flooding the board like that. Alright, against what they're doing, Deafening Silence is in for sure. They're probably going to have Artifact and Enchantment Hate, so let's bring those in. Take out Gak. Um, take out A-Lion's Eye Diamond. Take out A-Anger. Take out the Street Wraiths, maybe? I'm trying to think of what they even have for creatures that I give a fuck about. Um, then maybe I want to bring the Lion's Eye Diamond back in. Oh, maybe maybe bring Firestorms in? What the fuck do these four color piles have for creatures? Um, You know what? Maybe we do leave the Lion's Eye Diamond in. We still have the Ox. Maybe we just leave the Hogak in and just do this. Like, just take out one Anger and all the street rates. I feel problem is is like I'm ninety nine percent sure this deck plays Caracas. So Hogak just feels really, really fucking bad against that. Um, I mean they they got Planeswalker, so maybe just like a Firestorm wouldn't be the worst idea. I'm sure something like that. We'll give it that a go. see how this all goes i actually gotta say this, this clickbait one ain't holy fuck okay um if i had a way to pitch cards this would be amazing but i don't so i think we got a mulligan there a lot of payoffs nothing i can do with it though i got a mulligan that i guess we're keeping this um i guess we're gonna bend the lands like as awkward as that is, I think that's what we're doing here. Because we can go ahead and start trying to do like dumb shit to like slow them down. But like if they have abundant growth here, I think we might just take the turn off to a fucking hit their abundant growth. Okay, bird of paradise? So what, maybe? I don't know, we'll see what we draw. Bloodstained mire? It might be worth it just to deafening silence here, as awkward as that is. Let's go grab our plateau. Get down deafening silence. If it forces it, at least it gets two cards out of their hand. Okay. So now they can't just chain together a bunch of cantrips and shit. Uh, if they hit it to fairy, we just cry, though. Like, if they just happen to have it to fairy in hand, we, we I think we just lose. <laughs> I'd literally... Unless we can like somehow get our Avenge Vines in the graveyard, we I we pretty much just literally lose to a Teferi. Because it shuts down all of our madness shenanigans. And like even then, it'd have to be Venge like Venge Vines in the graveyard plus naturally casting our root wallas, which if you're naturally casting your root wallas, you're kind of in a bad spot. So Alright, gonna brainstorm. I don't know. They're, these guys are also 0 and 1. Maybe we just look out. We're up against someone who's really bad and just learning the deck. I, I don't know. <laughs> I feel bad rooting for that, but. I guess we will see. We'll, we'll see what ends up happening here. <sighs> All right. They're probably just thinking hard about what they want to put back from this brainstorm. All right, let's see if this dog comes fucking flying up here. Now. Where's her coming? They just do a water change earlier on the fish tank, and obviously, as you all know, she freaks the fuck out when I do that. All right, not shuffling yet. What do we get? Okay, so. I actually think we're going to play the Lion's Eye Diamond and pass. So, like, it feels weird playing the Lion's Eye Diamond, but hopefully 
they play something we can kill with the wear tear and then we'll pop the lion's eye diamond play the angie's ravager because we can do both of those in the same turn I have feelings to go be like extra fucking excited. Okay, no, it didn't. Just really hard to open, apparently. All right, what's our opponent doing here? They're shuffling now. It's gonna flash in an Ice Fang Quaddle. Yeah. I suppose that does things. I said, like, the best thing they could do here is, like, if they play something that we can blow up with Wear Tear and then be able to Angie's Ravager, we might just fucking Angie's Ravager anyways. What are you doing? Playing a Grist. Interesting. Unfortunately, that does count as a creature. It's a problem. Okay, so they're getting their board together, which is annoying, but still not the end of the world, I guess. Um, yeah, well, we'll just pass, I guess. Do we draw? Oh, we're gonna Faithful Sleuthing. Um, actually, do we want to hold that up? Yeah, I think we want to hold that up. Let's go grab a Badlands. Because I want to hold this up to be able to play where. All right. Another Lion's Eye Diamond. Let's check these. I don't really need either of those. We'll pass the turn. Again, best case scenario is they play something we can blow up with wear, and then we just play an Angie's Ravager. Again, like, this is the one problem with this deck, is that it does shit like this, where... You can like churn through your deck like a motherfucker and just not find anything. Okay, so we finally have a target for this. Which helps us immensely. He is getting a bit of a board down, which is problematic. But. Okay, so the nice part is, is we also know that they can't counter this because they already played their non-creature spell for the turn. So we're going to cast this on that. Load up. And we're going to pop this, play the Anji's Ravager. Well, we can, so we know they can't counter it. I suppose they could fucking uh, Solitude it. Like, that is always a possibility. They just have, like, white card Solitude or something stupid like that. That is always a possibility. Or, like, they have Swords of Plowshares now or something. Um, So we do have a Blazing Root Walla, which I guess doesn't really matter that much. I don't know. I have a bad feeling that, like, all of this shit's about to fucking die, but we'll go after Gris, see what happens. He'll probably just block, sack something, kill the Anji's Ravager. Um, yeah, we'll go after Gris. He's just gonna block with an insect, I'm sure. Alright, so we can do this. Cast with you. Free spell. What are you doing, opponent? Are you going to counter the Root Walla? No, you're going to flash an Ice Fang Quaddle. So that has Death Touch. Okay. So I could flashback Faithful Saluting. Which might be better than Inquiry right now. Um, what do we need? We need green mana still? Yeah, I think we're gonna flash back the Faithless Looting. Chuck and Chuck. It's also gonna be a free hollow one. I 
So unfortunately, they're probably going to kill the Hollow One. So he's probably going to tick down Gris, kill the Hollow One. I don't know. We'll see. I, I don't like where we're at, but... This deck is not going particularly well right now. Uh, we might switch over to Reanimator. I don't know. Like, considering how well this deck did last week, now it's just doing fucking awful. But that's what happens sometimes, I guess. This very much is a, like, you catch your opponents off guard kind of deck. Or, like, someone just wants to power their way through fucking leagues and shit. That also could just be a by the day thing. Like, I don't know. Maybe last Tuesday was just the day that we faced all fucking non interactive combo decks and everyone's back onto their, like, mid rangey crap now. But who knows? Someone is taking their sweet ass time deciding what to do with that fucking thing. Can't do anything anyway, so I'll yield through the turn. Let them do their thing. Fine. Uh, what are. Okay, apparently they decided against whatever that was. Like I said, I'm assuming they're probably just. Okay, plays an Uro. Gain some life back. Yeah, I think this one's probably pretty well fucking done. Um, because they're gonna be able to get that Uro back. They're probably just gonna kill my Hollow One. Our best bet right now is just letting our opponent fucking time out. Honestly, like they seem to be playing super super slow. But I guess we'll see what they do. They they could fuck this up somehow. I don't know. Fucking it up is always a possibility. Uh, let's see. Let, let's figure out what we want to play next. Because I don't know if I'm going to want to keep playing this. I don't know. Um, well, apparently they decided not to kill the hollow one, which is interesting. What would we even play? Yeah, probably just play Reanimator, honestly. If we want to go to the next game, I'm probably going to just do Reanimator. Um, well, I mean, let's... Is there anything in white that I give a fuck about right now? No, not really. Do this, see what happens. Is he just like trying to fucking ultimate this? He's only got two creatures. Well, definitely is taking their sweet ass fucking time here. Mm-hmm. Okay, they're gonna fetch. Do they actually have like a counter spell to this? I mean, it's definitely possible they do, but no, they're just gonna flash in another ice fang waddle. <laughs> uh we get a root walla. What else do we chuck? Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go to the next one. There's no fucking point in trying to slog through this. We'll just go to the next one. Um, they're just four color. I mean, maybe they're just straight ban Yorion. Well, no, they got prismatic ending, so they're they're definitely just four color Yorion crap. Maybe these deafening silences are hurting us a little bit more than our opponent. Bring that in. Maybe we'll take these out. Bring in another firestorm. They actually do have a lot of fucking creatures. Um, I'm not sure something like that. Be a little more aggressive this time. Hopefully, we can just hit the like dump our hand turn one, and they don't really have anything to stop us. The nice part is, is like I'm assuming for graveyard hate, they're probably just going to be running like surgicals and stuff. They probably don't have ley lines. Like you never know, but they probably don't. Uh, we're gonna keep this. Please do not force my future in, bro. Almost a six. 
I mean, maybe I'm wrong and they do just have ley lines. I, it's possible. They're not mulliganing super hard. Well, I mean, also, our opponent plays slow as shit, so who the fuck knows, but... I guess we will see what happens here. If they do have ley lines and they mulligan to find one, then, uh... Okay, so they don't have a ley line. Please don't force this. Pretty please. Also, please do not have surgicals. Fuck that. Fuck that. It looks like they might have F6 through the turn. Please don't surgical me. Don't surgical my Vengevines, bro. Okay, they don't have surgicals. We're getting a bunch of damage on the battlefield, turn one. This is about as good as we can get against what our opponent's doing here, and this is what won us game one. Um, it's just going to be like, do you have a whole bunch of fucking removal spells? Because all their removal is exile based too, which is super, super annoying. Oh, it sounds like the wipe is home, so that's a thing. Okay, well, apparently they skipped it up. Apparently they just did not have anything to deal with turn one 10 damage on board. So, okay, we. We are on par for the uh, good old. The good old 1 4, apparently. We're, we are on par for that, so. Let's see. See if we can win the last one out. Get half of our fuck. What the fuck? Come on. Let's see, did the one button stop working? See if we can get half of our uh, league entry back. Going into the last matchup here. We, we did officially win one, so so far my prediction is on track. So, we'll see what happens. See what our last matchup ends up being. Uh, all right, all right. Let's see, let's see. Let's see. Mm. Where's the dog didn't lose her fucking mind that I wanted to hear her barking her ass off or anything? It normally freaks out whenever anyone opens the garage door. Yeah, I don't know, mate. I've also been like debating if I want to try like the Epic Gambler or anything. That one, I haven't seen that deck a lot, and actually looks kind of fun. So, we'll see. We shall see. I'd like to find our last opponent, though. That, that, that would be nice. Okay, found our opponent. We are up. Okay, so apparently this opponent is on the Epic Gamble um, as of three days ago. So, we don't have to worry about counter magic. Oh. Oh, oh, I like this. This is a fucking great hand. I know this is a zero lander. I know this is like, you're being stupid and shouldn't do this, but this seems fucking great. Assuming your opponent just like, doesn't completely combo us off on turn one, but they're starting with seven, so that's actually kind of scary. All right. Well, here goes nothing. Spin it to motherfucking win it. Which one of us can spin better? <laughs> so since our opponent is F6 through the turn, I'm assuming that means they actually are on the Epic Gamble. So we're just going to hope that this is enough to kill them. Hopefully they don't just have like the turn one Nutter Butters, so we'll find out. They are staring down at three turn clock, but... what our opponent can do here like the nice part is is most of the time they can't turn one us they need a very very lucky wheel to be able to turn one us but it is possible okay so they didn't have it eh, well i guess that's a thing um anything we do from now on at least is gonna have haste i get to refuel our hand So they've got one turn to figure this out, is what this comes down to at this point. There's nothing we can do, so we're just going to yield till end step. So they could wheel here. 
Oh, there, oh, okay. There's a go play Simeon Spirit Guide as a blocker? Okay. They are in trouble if that's what they're doing. But we do not hate that at all. That's a burning inquiry. I can do things. Who can wheel better, opponent? Who can wheel better? <laughs> uh, we hit a Hogak and a Vengevine. Oh, we're going to attack. We will refuel our hand with. They have to block here. Get a Putrid Imp, which I don't hate. This actually should give us a Hogak back next turn. They have to block something. Wait, what? What? Uh, they're, they're dead, right? Oh, oh, I didn't even see they blocked anything. That was weird. Um, well, we're gonna do this. Um, for some reason I thought this was our second creep. Apparently not. Uh, we played a land this turn already, right? Yes. So I guess we see what they can do next turn. I mean, either they got it or they don't, so... Again, if they're playing a Simeon Spirit Guide to block, they have issues. Like, they have to combo off this turn to win. They do have colored mana now, though, so, I mean, that is a thing. It might happen? Are they just going to gamble? Or just Horn of Carnfell? Whatever the fuck that thing's called? Okay, well, they're going to try to figure out what to do here, I guess. Um, They still do have a land drop this turn. Uh, they can crow mox, I guess. That that's a way to get colored mana. I mean, I guess we can't really do anything anyway, so we're just gonna let them do their thing. Fence grid, that doesn't matter. Burning wish, that can get them something. But they have to have red cards in hand is the problem. Apparently, they just don't. Oops. Not what I meant to do. Because they still. Have I mean, they can play Lotus Petal. That gets them red mana. Okay, Lion's Eye Diamond gets some red mana. I, I guess we'll see if they can piece this together. Like, they can get something off of this Burning Wish, but they've only got limited red mana. <laughs> They're gonna Burning Wish. But then again, they still have no red mana. Lion's Eye Diamond, Aquavions. Just spin us too, I guess? I guess they're just going to try to figure out what they can hit and hope that they hit something relevant. I guess they do get to discard like their whole fucking hand now. They still have to find a way to actually win this. Oh, they got fancy ass gambles. That's interesting. But like they still don't have a way to actually win this though. Like, they can echo again to spin, I guess. Like, that's probably what they're going to do. Three red. Play a Burgie. Okay. Okay, so, like, I mean, like I said, they can keep spinning, I guess, but they still got to actually find a way to end this. Like, I feel like it'd be very hard for them not to get it from here, but you never know. Okay, go ahead. Play Defense Grid. Oh, they have a Burning Wish. Okay, that doesn't matter. They have it then. I didn't see that there was a Burning Wish in there, so they got it. That's annoying. One point of damage too short. God damn. Okay. So, against this opponent, basically, Artifact Hate. Excuse me. Play Lines. Deafening silence? Like, it feels really bad taking out as much as we're going to, but. Basically, want to take out. It sucks taking these guys out, too, but I think this is kind of what we want to do here. Like. And maybe do three ley lines. Like, we're slowing our clock way the fuck down, but. It's still kind of just what we need to do, fortunately. Up. 
I don't know. I guess we'll find out. See if this actually works. The nice part is, is they don't have counter magic, so... Um, I don't hate Ancient Grudge. This hand doesn't do a ton, though, at the moment. Is it worth keeping this? Yeah, I think we're going to try it. I mean, we're going to attempt to do it. I, that was really... We were one point of damage short, which is kind of annoying, but... It happens, I suppose. Let's see what we see. I think we're going to start off with the Faithless Looting. See what we can hit. Grab a Badlands. Play Faithless Looting. I guess we're going to chuck an Anger. Chuck a Land? Cast Lion's Eye Diamond past the turn? Like, next turn we're probably just going to Ancient Grudge something. Assuming they don't just, like, turn one wheel is here. Well, next turn we're... <laughs> There's a fucking useless-ass ley line. Alright, yeah, we're just going to hold up Ancient Grudge for now. Not really point in doing anything else. We probably should mulligan for some more payoffs, either that or some more hate or something, but you never know. Okay, so right of flame. Right of flame. What are you about to try to pop off? If it's just a horn, we're gonna fucking kill it. Multiple lion's eye diamonds. What is your last card in hand? They're going to gamble. Which means they're going to Echoes us? Okay, there's the Echo. They're going to pop that. No, they're not going to pop that. Okay, they are going to. Try to do that first. Okay. Well, they're going to play all the mana I'm here. Well, we're just going to blow up the Mox Opal, because why the fuck not at this point? Um, grab this. I don't think it does anything, but we're gonna kill it. He thinks we lost this one if they're already fucking popping off an echo, but you never know. I I mean I don't really think that was worth it, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we spin into. Oh. That actually does things. Um assuming we're not dead here, this does things. We'll see. I mean, we're, we're just going to go ahead and... Or, no, not yield through ritual. Yield until next time. If all the men in the world do whatever, it's just a matter of did they actually hit anything relevant is what it comes down to. I'm assuming they did since they're not just passing the fucking turn, but who knows. On a Chromox. Just for the sake of, okay, yeah, if they're just running out of Chromox for the sake of running out of Chromox, they hit something relevant. I guess this means they hit, oh, no, and Jesus Christ. All right, we're done here. Okay, well, we officially won Ford. <laughs> My prediction came true. Well, well, like I said, at least that's a very quick league, so we can actually do another one. So, um, yeah, I guess we're going to try that again. That was a, a little unfortunate, but... A little unfortunate. All right, get your predictions in now. See what we think we're going to get. I'm going to say we're going to do a little bit better this time. We're going to 2-3. <laughs> that, that, that was a little... A little disappointing, but all right, Knecht again. I know we played this guy before. Yeah, we're gonna keep this. We're gonna kind of just hope. It says they were on Delver, but that's probably what they're on. Four tents. Okay, so this is that like Jezkai fucking bullshit. So I guess we're going to we're gonna see if they counter this Lions Eye Diamond. I guess is what we're gonna do. Is 
Because I remember playing against this guy. He had a very, very strange version of Delver. Whoa, whoa. Nope, they don't want to do that yet. We're going to cast this first. See if he forces it. Does not force it. Interesting. Well, we're going to try this then. See if this resolves. That eats a force. So in that case, we're gonna go ahead and do this. See how much damage we can do on turn one. This looks like 10 damage on turn one. Yeah, that, that looked like 10 damage on turn one to me. Just a matter of how much removal does our opponent have. They did get rid of a portent. Um, I mean, I guess we're going to do this, because why not? Let's get in, get more threats on the battlefield. The more damage we can do, the better. This puts them dead to any one of these root wallas being able to pump next turn. I'm guessing, oh, they're gonna exile something. What are they gonna swords? They're gonna swords the Vengevine? Okay. So this still puts them to six. So they still need to grab a bunch more removal based off of everything that they have. Our set, okay. Nope, not what I wanted. Cause I can kill Narset next turn. Like, if I want to. If I can just hit another land, they're just dead. Well, there's a Terminus. Um, That doesn't do it. So what, are they going to try to brainstorm to Terminus us? I'm assuming that means they have a brainstorm in hand. So what do I want to do here? Assuming this means that we're probably dead. Um, you know what? You're gonna attack Narsa, you're gonna attack them, you're gonna attack them. And you, I'm gonna pump. Because I'm assuming this means they're gonna up yeah, upkeep, brainstorm, put Terminus on top, Terminus our board. It, no. Okay. Are they gonna brainstorm, brainstorm? Okay, they're gonna Teferi. That just means they're dead. Yeah, that, that just means they're dead. Unless they have some way to fucking kill this thing. I mean, that's a lion. Yeah, this is just, this is lethal. Yeah, it's lagging. We we killed them. They conceded. We we have lethal in a bajillion ways. All right. So opponent is on Jeskai miracle-y stuff. Um, they're gonna have artifacts and enchantments. Since they got planeswalkers, I kind of want the firestorms. Hogak seems bad. Our life total is pseudo relevant. Maybe trim a Lion's Eye Diamond, try something like that. Because the Lion's Eye Diamonds always seem to lead to, like, just feels bads. So I guess we'll try something like that. See how it goes. Like I said, I know we played against this guy last week, so. I'm kind of curious how this MTG bot, like, dis determines what people were last seen playing. Like, is it only if they post, like, a 5 hour or something? Is that what the picks up or how the fuck does it actually check that i wonder i don't know and we can always see maybe this connect guy actually has a 5-0 trophy like all right oh it's not gonna let me see the like league standings and shit while i'm doing this so we can always go check and see but i don't remember if we beat this guy last week or not i know we played him last week but i don't remember if we beat him
He is definitely taking his sweet ass time to sideboard there. And I get it. Okay, there we go. Um, I don't hate this. I think we're gonna keep this. Like, I don't hate this at all. All right, well, that's our opponent. Brainstorming? Portent. They really like to turn one portents. Uh, chooses not to shuffle. Apparently they like whatever they saw. We're gonna draw. I do not hate Ox of Agonis either. Well, let's see if this Lion's Eye Diamond... Okay, Lion's Eye Diamond does not eat a force. Huh. That's interesting. Well, we're gonna. I want to run out this Ing's Ravager, but I think I'm gonna wait. Like, there was a part of me that wanted to burn an inquiry, but I also don't want to like blow my whole hand on just getting an Ing's Ravager out because we can't get the Ox of Agonis back yet. But, but we do have options for the angry moo cow at some point. So we shall see. What is this? The general. And of course, Matt. Oh, okay. I, we got a backup, so I don't particularly care about that. Root Walla isn't bad at all. The question is, is do I want a burning inquiry here or not? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't think we're going to inquiry yet. I think we're going to cast another Putrid in. They clearly cared enough about the first one. But I think next turn, if they don't get rid of this Putrid Imp, is going to be the turn that we do it. Unless they play it to Fairy here, in which case we'll just fucking throw all of our shit out. Oh! Oh! EE -E on zero, you say? Are you going to blow up our Lion's Eye Diamonds? Not yet. Okay. They're also mana screwed, which helps us. Oh, they're going to EE -E on zero this turn? Um, You know what? Sure. Let's do this. Guess I should have done it at the end of last turn, but oh well. Well, we drew another land, so we have we have the mana for the cow now. We just gotta get more shit in the graveyard, which hopefully this Angie's Ravager will help us with, but... Hopefully they also don't just like top deck a Terminus and we're fucked. Which is a very real possibility. Okay, so they didn't just Miracle a Terminus on us, which is nice. The fairy is also mildly problematic. But, oh, apparently they're mana screwed. That's actually very good for us. Bloodstained Mire. I do not hate that. Uh, let's pump, get our damage in. Back with everything. Refuel our hand. Flashing in a Snapcaster Mage, that's interesting. Targeting four time because they can't cast are they just gonna block the Ruwala? Oh that that's actually really funny. Um We're gonna firestorm that. X is one. We're gonna chuck the taiga. 
kill your Snapcaster. <laughs> Unless they want to force this. Oh, oh, shit, they really want to force that, okay. I guess we'll see what they block. They are going to block there. What's this do? One, two, three, four, five, six. If we fetch, this goes to us. Goes to two. I don't hate that. Can I cast this, or is it going to cast three? Oh, cast three. So I cannot cast that yet. But you take a bunch of damage. Do not. Okay, they still do not top deck a terminus. That helps. Uh, brainstorm. Okay. So, I've almost got enough creature, or enough cards in the grave, and oh, they scoop it up, okay. <laughs> Alright, already starting off to a uh, better time this time, apparently. And they scooped it. Uh, let's see what we would have drawn. If it'll let us. No, it will not, okay. Well then. So now I'm curious, like, did these, did, did this guy fucking, can I actually search this somehow? No. So I guess let's go down to like the one trophies and see if we can find the guy. Because I'm wondering if that's how it determines like who ends up getting, like how it determines what they did. Like is it off of an undefeated trophy or what? That's like a million people in the fucking one thing. Alright, these were over. Now this is like 10. Hey, tutors! <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Um, I don't know. Oh well. We'll play another one. I don't feel like sifting through that whole fucking list of people. So I guess I guess we can always look it up. They've got a fucking deck list thing here. Little link. Oh, I guess it's just if they're in a tournament. Cause this dude, he was on Is It Delver for a Legacy Challenge got 31st he went three and four with it so maybe that's how it does it like it just has to be a posted deck list for me playing something i don't know what one of these weekends i'm gonna hop into one of these challenges and stream it i just haven't decided when i want to do it yet or what i want my deck to be but i do remember that guy was on uh just got control last time too i again i don't remember if we beat him or not i want to say we did but i don't remember for sure Um, I don't hate this. I think we'll go ahead and keep this. Don't know what our opponent's on. This is a redraw. We've got lots of ways to loot stuff to cycle through our deck. It's a little awkward we're on one land and we don't have like any free spells for this Vengevine. Oh, is our opponent on lands? Yes. Gee, oh, pff, okay. What is this, Life from the Lawn to get those back? Yes, okay. But, I mean, I guess that's a thing. Um, That's kind of awkward. Oh, that's a Lion's Eye Diamond. That actually lets us do things. That does actually... Okay. How... Ooh. There's a part of me that wants to do this because it'd be funny as hell. But uh, I think we're going to play it safe. We do know they have the Ghost Quarter, so... Um, I think we're going to go ahead and grab a Badlands for now. So that we can still go get a basic off of this. Um, oh, this actually gets us a ton of power on board right now. Okay, I, I'm actually super okay with this because we're going to be able to hollow one for free since we cycled the Shree Wraith. We're going to be able to get the Vengevide back. So I actually do not hate this at all. And then if we really want to, we can pop for the Ravager. But we'll see what we get next turn instead. Unfortunately, they are going to be able to get a relatively large um, construct pretty fucking quickly, though. That that's the one downside about this. But we'll see what happens. Because we know they've got 
They're probably going to dredge the life from the loam. Really, they're not. Okay, so we know they have a whatchamacallit, a um, ghost quarter in hand. But they're also turn two with four mana, which is a little scary. We're going to thought see this. Do we care? Not really. And if they want to take the Ravager, we'll just play it. Do I take the Burning Inquiry? Okay. There's Ghost Quarter, which is fine. Ooh. Double Ravager. Give us a land, please. I mean, that counts. Um, crack for this. Crack for this. <laughs> oh, I probably should have done that, that second one for green now that I think about it. So I can actually pump the Ruwala. But oh well. It is a little awkward. We had to crack both of them. But this is also basically lethal. I, I definitely should have cracked the other one for uh, green so that I could pump the root wall of it. Oh well. Shit happens, I suppose. We're going to attack with everything. And maybe we get some more bodies on the battlefield too. Because we're going to draw three, then we're going to discard, and then we're going to draw another three. They can make a construct, but what? They can. Okay, or they scoop it up. <laughs> That works too. That works too. Okay, okay, okay. Um, definitely bringing these in. Uh, being on lands, they're gonna have a bunch of artifact hate. So probably bring in this stuff. Hogax probably bad here. Um, I'm debating if it's worth the wear tears. I don't think they. What does lands do anyways? Find out. Do you have any fucking enchantments? Not really. I mean, they got exploration, so I mean, maybe... Maybe bring in one of these? I mean, they're just playing this version here. Uh, they do have Dark Depths, which is a little annoying. Um, I don't think we want the street rates. I mean, maybe we do, maybe we don't. It's always so weird trying to figure out what to trim. Right, let's trim A Anger. I don't really want to trim Ox, but I might. Like, maybe just trim this whole package here. I feel like our life total isn't super duper relevant. But it could be. Um... Oh, let's try to trim the street race. The fucking doing shit like this with this deck is kind of weird. Like trying to figure out exactly how to do all of this. Um, weird as it feels. Maybe we trim a burning inquiry. Maybe we trim a putrid end. What do, what do we want to trim? Like maybe we just trim the wear tear. Um. I guess we'll try trimming the ox and see how that goes. See what that do. See what that do. Ugh. Let's see, let's see, let's well we cannot keep this, so we gotta mulligan that. Ah, we can keep this. Um what do we want to put to the bottom? What put the redundant no. We got ways to turn through our deck. Maybe we put the Taiga to the bottom. This also shuts off their life from the loan bullshit. So they can't just do what they did last time and get all their fucking lands back. So now they're just going to lose their lands, period. Deciding what they want to chuck to this Mox Diamond. Okay, fetch land. Okay, I mean that that that's fucking annoying. We'll admit. Now I need to hit another land, so apparently putting that redundant land to the bottom was a mistake. Ah fuck. 
Plane exploration. Plays of Verdance. Ever well we can't do anything with. Need some lands, apparently. Gonna cycle a Baron more. Can't do anything, so we'll just yield through the turn. Our opponent's not doing much, but that Sphere of Resistance is fucking us. There's an Ancient Grudge. We very much need some fucking lands here. We're just gonna lose because of the Sphere of Resistance. Trying to just let our opponent do whatever the hell they want. And we're gonna yield through the turn. Um, we are gonna go ahead and... What are they doing? Oh, they gave us a land. Okay, that actually helps us a lot here. We're gonna grab the Taiga. Uh, we're going to... I guess we're pitching the Ancient Grudge so we can actually cast it. Um... Yeah, well, we'll wait, and then we can cast the fucking Ancient Grudge, blow up the Severe Resistance, so we can actually do something relevant. But blow this fucker up. And now we can actually do things. Okay, and we're hitting our lands, which is fan-fucking-tastic. Okay. We're doing it, guys. We're, we're, we're figuring this shit out. Okay, we're doing things. So they very much cared about that uh, ley line, which is interesting to me. Okay, so we can swing into a bunch of damage. I think that's probably the correct move. Get as much damage in as possible. Uh, let's get a Badlands in. We're going to pump these fuckers. And just swing in for as much damage as possible. And we can keep most of our shit alive through a Tabernacle. But I think this means they have, like, a Ley Line, or a, uh, whatchamacallit, um, Life from the Loam. Which is why they cared very much about getting rid of the Ley Line of the Void. But I guess we'll see. Like, we, we can keep enough stuff alive doesn't really matter. What, are they going to make a sacrifice something? Oh, okay. Um, I mean, that's annoying, but not the end of the world. And a wasteland? Okay, go ahead. That's mostly fine. We got two of these Faithless Lootings to try to figure some shit out, so... Uh, useless Ley Line of the Void. Let's see what we can hit here. Uh, Ley Line, Faithless Looting. Do this. Chuck and Chuck, play the Root Walla. Cast the Hollow One, get the Vengevine back, kill you. This is lethal on board. And we got there. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right, we got there. Uh, all right, this is already, this is already going better than the last one. <laughs> Okie dokie. Um, I do not hate our lands matchup. I will say I played lands a couple of times this morning and, uh, Tabernacle's a bit of a beating, I will admit. The Tabby's a bitch, but it is what it is. <laughs> Uh, so far, we're uh, 2 0 4 0, so already doing much better. I, we have won more total games than we did the entire last league, so. <laughs> uh, the deck giveth and the deck taketh. Yeah, taketh, and it, it's what it does. Sometimes it's great, and other times it's like, no, I'm, I'm not going to do a goddamn thing. So, there's that. <laughs> Ugh. Ooh, okay. Oh, found an opponent. Um, 
Okay, so whoever this was, BLJ, last seen two days ago playing Mono Red Prison. Um, oh, shit. Fuck yes, I'm keeping this. If they're on Mono Red Prison, I don't know if they can beat this starting hand. So as long as they're actually on Mono Red Prison, like, do not fucking force a will this. Okay, they don't. Sweet. I don't know if it's possible for them to beat a hand that starts like this. This is just an absurd amount of damage on the battlefield. Did our opponent scoop it up already? No? Okay. This is 14 damage on the battlefield on turn one. Against Mono Red. As long as they can't just like dump their whole hand and get a fucking uh whatchamacallit down, I think they're just dead. Like if okay, yeah, they scoop it up. <laughs> oh fuck. Okay. That that's how we like to start that off. Just just a casual 14 damage on turn one, you know. Not not nothing too crazy. Um, so we're gonna bring all this shit in. Let's get rid of Gak, get rid of Ox, get rid of Street Wraiths. Uh, bring in a Firestorm, Trim A, Anger, bring in another Firestorm, try something like that. This takes care of all their artifacts and enchantment bullshit. This should take care of their creatures. Try something like that. As long as they don't like turn one, turn it to us, we should be pretty good. But I guess we'll see what happens here. That that was a pretty spectacular turn one though. <laughs> um I got a bunch of wear terrors. I don't hate that. We have answers for all their hate and we have three lands. So in this case then, as long as they don't blood moon us, I think we're actually in pretty good shape. Oh, they are not on Mono Red Prison. Okay, I totally sideboarded wrong then. Um, I mean, we have an answer for it, so I'm not particularly scared. I mean, I guess we'll run out the Putrid Imp. There's no point in us not doing it. But we totally sideboarded wrong if this is what our opponent's doing. That being said, we have multiple answers for Soul Guide Lantern. I guess this is what you get for, like, actually listening to what the MTG bot says. So I guess we're going to get to see what our opponent can do here. Okay, so they're on some kind of artifact deck. Is this just a cast? They just... Double Soul Guide Lantern. Okay. So like I said, the nice part is, is we have answers for this. Okay, yes, this is a cast. So they were just eight cast without a force is what it came down to. Um, I don't think any of this matters. Oh, shit. I probably should have fucking blown this up now that I think about it. I played the wrong land. Fuck. Um, do I really care that much? No. I think I'll just swing in. I don't really have much going on over there. I don't... I can't play this Vengevine anyways. Though I don't think I hate what's going on here. So we can, we'll see what they do here. If they make one construct, I'm not super worried about it because we have so much fucking hate for it. Oh, are they mana screwed? Oh, oh baby. Okay, Um, in that case then, grab all of our colors of mana. Let's blow up this so that it forces them to make their construct now. And then we can wear tear, blow up the land and the construct. They clearly don't have a force of will. Otherwise, they would have forced that in a heartbeat, I feel like. Okay, well, now we're just gonna fucking wear tear. Fuck! I played the wrong goddamn land. Fuck. Oh, goddammit. I'm an idiot. Um. We are gonna blow this up, though. Actually, hold on. Cancel that. 
we're gonna blow that up. Let's do this properly. I am a moron. Okay, that that is fine. I really should. I need to pay attention to what I'm playing for my lands more closely, because that would have been a blowout, but I fucked up. It is what it is, I guess. They are mana screwed though, so if they don't hit a land, they're about to mana screw themselves. And we can kind of just blow up whatever they get. So what, they're gonna go grab... Okay, they're grabbing a Mox Opal, which I don't... Okay, and a Psy? Do they have any zero drop shit to make with Psy? Question. No, okay. So I guess we blow up one of the Slow Guy Lanterns, right? curious what's in their fucking hand so that that is on me i fucked that up um that being said i could really use some fucking random shit here i almost don't want a burning inquiry because clearly their hand doesn't have anything so let's just go ahead and blow up a little guy lantern okay exile in our graveyard that doesn't matter this also means they don't have mana. Into a basking root voila. Um. Hmm. Love this little guy lantern. They have no mana. Oh, oh, oh they actually have the force of will. Okay. Uh, well, in that case, then, I guess we're just gonna wheel and see what fucking happens. Cast the Rewalla. Cast another one of these and see what we wheel into. I mean, mildly just fuck our opponent's deck over. Into a Faithless Looting. And then... I guess that doesn't really do anything for us here, so it's not a huge deal. I I might have screwed us over here. I don't know if I just wheeled our opponent into zero cost artifacts. Oh, we wheeled him into a land. So that does do something. Hmm. Well, we're gonna faithless looting. What can we do here? So I guess we can Lion's Eye Diamond Looting. Play the Looting. See what we hit. Because this guy is kind of stonewalling us here. Okay, that, that actually helps a lot. Because now we can cast the Hollow One. Our opponent still can't do anything yet. But now we have a way to go through the sigh at least. They do have mana though, which is annoying. What are they doing? No, okay. Fuck. Oh, okay. I guess they're just bouncing that back to hand. So we know they don't have anything. So, here's if they pop this lantern just to eat my graveyard so that I can't. Okay, they are going to pop it just so that I can't do that. That's a Vengevine. That, that actually. Uh, hmm. I mean, I guess this does let me get the hollow one down. Does let the hollow one get down. And at least pop in for one. And they're still in top deck mode. They've got two mana. Problem is, is when they start being able to shit out Thopters. What are they doing? That is correct, opponent. You do not actually have three mana. 
Uh, that's a putrid end. I think we want to hold off. If he wants to block this, we'll just pump it. It's fine. We don't really care. If he doesn't, then we'll... Okay, he's not going to do it. Got it. So we're going to just start getting in for a bunch. Oh, he did block. What? Why is it being so laggy telling me what's getting blocked? Because we're trying to wait to hit another creature to be able to get this Vengevine back, I think. Okay, so he's starting to get his shit together. Which is annoying. Okay, there. that's a refuel. Hopefully it didn't get him anything relevant. Okay, so now he's getting to change it together. That this is annoying. We need a meltdown. That would actually be pretty fucking sweet here. Okay, well that kind of does things. I mean, I guess we're just going on the, like, fuck your shit plan. Or we're just going to start swinging in and trying to kill things. Like, pressure them and fucking go for it, basically. What is our opponent deciding if they want to do? Like, I guess if they have a force, they could do something here. Opponent is thinking very hard about what they want to do here. Are you debating if you want to force this opponent? The problem is, is they're going to start getting some kind of big constructs out of this thing, but if we got to keep the air clear is mostly what it comes down to. Okay, that resolved. Finally. <laughs> I get our Venge Vine back. Yes, we want it back. And, I mean, at this point, math is for blockers. Like, we gotta pressure them. Blocking there, blocking there, blocking there. So this doesn't actually kill that much, which is a little annoying. But it kills some things. Fortunately, they are going to get to the point where now they're going to have a very large con. A meltdown off the top would be amazing. Yeah, a meltdown would just be fucking phenomenal. Now they yeah. Grindstone, what the fuck? Okay. Meltdown off the top? Please? Oh wait, no, I didn't board in Meltdown. I'm an idiot. I'll definitely bring it in next game, so. Oh, uh, that's a land. That can do things, I guess. I mean, fuck, uh, they can block. Fuck, they can block everything, can't they? Yeah, we're, we're just going to go to the next one. This one got away from us. We were a little too slow. That and we sideboarded entirely wrong. We did not know they were on 8-cast. So now that we know what the hell is going on over there, we are bringing in Meltdown. Meltdown's coming in. The other Firestorm is coming in. There's something to be said. There's just so much stuff we want in this matchup is the problem. Um, I think we're just going to try running it like that. Fuck it. We'll go up too. We'll just bring in the meltdown of the firestorm. There's just so much stuff we want in this matchup against them. Nope. Cannot keep that. Uh, we will keep this. We're going to put the LED to the bottom. Go play this properly. Go grab our plateau now. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um, Chuck two root walls. Get him onto the battlefield. This isn't the fastest hand, but it does things. Let's 
We have a quick board. Hopefully our opponent doesn't have a way to just like shit their whole hand onto the board right off the bat. We do have some hate to be able to blow some shit up. Uh, oh, they're on the painter servant plan. Okay. Well, we can kill that no problem. Okay, so, oh, fuck. So there's a very high probability we just die here, which kind of sucks, because we can actually do a ton of fucking damage. But we kind of have to kill this thing, unfortunately. I mean, they got a force, they got a force. Okay, cool. We killed that. Next turn, oh, god damn it, I grabbed the wrong land again. Anything way better about paying attention to what lands I'm grabbing? Okay, so we at least stopped that bullshit. Because they did have the grindstone. <laughs> they have another painter? No. Okay. That is not the land I wanted. This is also mildly problematic. We're gonna pump. We're, we're just gonna start getting as much damage as we can. Like, we gotta kill him ASAP. So, like, if we can... I'm so mad at myself for grabbing the wrong land. I was thinking green to pump the root walls. I wasn't thinking I needed black to play the future nymph. Thought monitor. Okay, so they're trying to... They're trying to find another painter, I'm assuming. Not really much we can do here. Black land. Yes. Okay, that is a black land. Oh, shit. Fuck. I am just fucking this up left and right today. Holy shit. Okay, well. We're gonna get in. God damn it. <laughs> well, we're gonna face this looting after this, so. Okay, they are gonna block one. We're, we're gonna kill it. So I guess we're not gonna face this looting. Kill the thought monitor. I mean, if they got a painter, we're just dead, and I totally fucked that up, but whatever. Like, there's not really anything I can do this turn. Okay, that's a sigh, so now they're just gonna start trying to build a board to block with? How many zero drops you got? Apparently a lot. Another grindstone. All right. Not nah, fuck this up. That is a putrid imp. We're gonna do this the right way. Hopefully. Okay, apparently we're not gonna do it the right way. Got it! Fuck. What, we just lose our whole fucking board here? Yeah, we gotta start clearing out the fucking board. Like, I, I don't really see a better option here. Well, that's on me for fucking that up. They should be dead. Uh, that is 100% on me. I really need to pay better attention to my lands, apparently. Alright, just casually draw another two. Another land... Painter? Oh god, Lantern. Yeah, we're just gonna scoop that up. That that is on me. I will fully admit that. I need to pay better attention to my fucking lands. That is on me. Oh well. On to the next one. Oh, I, I kept grabbing the wrong fucking lands. God damn it. If I paid closer attention to my lands, I think we would have had that one, but that was just me trying to play too quickly. That is 100% on me. Excuse me. 
All right, found an opponent. Dirk Mantooth. What's up, buddy? All right, we're on the plane. Um, I don't hate this. We get two read, well, like four redraws technically, but let's see if we hit off these street race first. No idea what our opponent's on. Please don't force a will me, bro. Please. Into a land, which is useless. Into a burning inquiry. I think we're gonna faithless looting first. I think. See what happens. See if we get a fucking force of wield. Opponent's thinking about it. Okay, they are. Okay, so Murktai region, they're on Delver. Which means this is gonna be a very, very rough matchup for us. Fortunately. We did get a Murktai out of their hand. Well, joke's on you, opponent. I have a whole bunch of fucking lands in hand. Um actually it would have been a really fucking good one to have, but let's spin it to win it. Um Damn, nothing we actually wanted in the graveyard made its way into the graveyard. <laughs> um, that's a little frustrating. God damn, how many fucking forces do you have? <laughs> Apparently our opponent just has all the goddamn force of wills. And the nice part is we're through three of them now. Uh, unfortunately, we did not mana screw our opponent. Let me guess, Bolt? No, oh, Ponder. Jesus Christ. All right, well, I don't like where we're at on this one, but I guess we'll see what happens. Another anger that I literally can't do anything with. <laughs> yeah, I do not like where we are at with this at all. Opponent chose to shuffle, so it means they don't got shit in their hand either, which is nice. We are definitely not in a good position by any means. Oh my. They're gonna mark tide, and we're dead. Okay. We'll see what our top deck is, but uh, it's an LED that we kind of... I mean, I guess we could technically do something with it. Yeah, we're we're going to see what this Faithless Looting pops us into, but uh, I think it's probably not going to be good. Probably going to get forced or dazed or something anyways. Two things that don't matter. All right. Well, that... Then having double Force of Will right off the bat sucks. Um... Hmm. Well, Dirk Mantooth, good job, and just happen to have double force of will. Really good card. Um, I guess we'll grab ancient grudges, bring those in. Gak seems bad. Street wraiths seem actively bad. Put out one LED, something like that. The Delver matchup very much seems. Like, do they have Force of Will or not is all it comes down to. Because, I mean, you saw there, they, they forced the only things that mattered, and that's all that mattered. We also apparently spun them into a fucking Dark Tide region, so that's a little, that's a little awkward. Oh well. It is what it is. All right. We cannot keep this. We've also been having some really, really fucking awkward hands. Um, we can keep this. We'll put a redundant looting to the bottom, I guess. This at least shuts them off a of Merc Tide, which is nice. Uh, play the ley line. Play this. I think we'll do this first. See if it gets forced? No. Okay. Um. I guess we're gonna check LED and burning inquiry. Mystic Sanctuary tapped is an interesting start. That is a basking room walla. I guess we'll play this. Please don't force it. They don't. 
So if they don't have removal for this and we can survive until next turn to be able to actually play these Ruwallas and the Hollow one, that seems really good. Uh, but me thinks that's not going to happen. Unlicensed Hearse. Oh, okay. That's actually kind of okay. Okay, so please do not force a will my Hollow one. Okay, and we get a land. Ripper Walla. Tucker Walla. Are you going to force this one? <laughs> okay, no. Not going to force it. Okay. Let's get flying. Cast this. Please don't force it. Like my hollow one to survive, please. Okay. Hollow one stays. They could always have bounce, which is annoying, but they're not going to be able to kill it with an unholy heat. Lightning bolt doesn't do it. Whack it for a little bit. All right, so let's start eating some shit. Part is, is this totally shuts off their fucking Merc Tides, which is nice. And a brainstorm. What is the crew on this? This is crew two? Oh. What's our opponent do? They're gonna double bolt the hollow one? No. Yes, maybe? Ponder. They're going to shuffle, is the question. Chooses not to shuffle. Uh, plays a Dragon Raid Channeler. That's mostly fine. You'll never get Delirium, so whatever. Fuck it. Uh, another Putrid Imp is interesting. So I think we want to get in first. See how they block, I guess. Attack with everything. See how they block. They care about the Putrid Imp. That's interesting. I want probably want green mana. Pump this one. Get the extra damage in. Wacky for a bit. Play the other putrid in because clearly they gave a shit about it. I'm gonna eat those ones, which is they don't have anything they can crew the hearse with though. And they are staring down lethal on board. Press of iteration. We got a land drop. Ponder. So what they they need a removal spell just to survive. So they need to find a lightning bolt, or they're just dead. Chooses to shuffle. So they're looking for the bolt just to be able to survive next turn. If we hit a land, I don't think it matters. That is not a land. We're, we're gonna go in and attack. So, what? Probably want to pump this guy, do the most mana intensive thing, so that we hopefully have lethal next turn. Whoops, wrong color mana. Force you to bolt this, so then we have more mana open for next turn. Oh, oh okay. Can 
honestly say I wasn't expecting a Hydro Blast. But this still puts you to two. So you still need to find a way out of this. You're staring down at least two lethal threats on board currently. And they don't have any single creature. Oh, I guess, I mean, if they Snapcaster, I guess. But I don't know if Delver plays Snapcaster anymore. Plays well, a Dragon Rage Channeler. Ponder. So they like whatever they saw. Do they have another creature to play to be able to crew this hearse is the question. No, they do not. Another root wall would be nice here. Faithless loot. Well, what's looting? Let's see what we can find. Oh, I tapped the wrong fucking mana. Chuck Anger and Imp. Play this. I guess we get in. See if they can find a way out. They gotta be able to kill something and block the hollow one. Think they scoop it up? All right, we got there. Um, so I think we just run it back. Like I, I don't think there's anything we want to change here. Basically, just want to do what we did there. Um, being on the draw, I don't know if it's worth trying to bring more shit in. Um, Deafening silence is kind of a double-edged sword here. I think we just run it back, honestly. I just hope that we can basically do what we did there. Because, like, we've got the artifact aid, so you don't have to get the fucking whatchamacallit down, that unlicensed hearse. We weren't super heavy on relying on the graveyard at that time. That was more of our madness threats, so it's not like we were, like, on heavy vegvine plan. Maybe there's something to be said about bringing in some more artifact hate. Maybe we'll bring in one of those, take out the Oxygonus. As we saw, they clearly very want a graveyard. Yeah, clearly wanted a lot of graveyard hate there. So I think that's what they want. Well, while our opponent's sideboarding, I will be right back. All right, we are back. Um, we got a mulligan this. I think we can keep this. Um, this LED seems like a trap. So I think we're gonna put the LED to the bottom. 
So I'm thinking turn one, we're probably going to Faithless Looting. I think. Okay, so let's see. Uh, actually, yes. I, I do like the idea of us Faithless Looting. Is it going to get a hasty wall on the board, assuming this doesn't get forced? Which it might, but if it does, the next turn we'll just burning ink where ooh. Ew. Okay, anger Ruwala. Get the Ruwala down. I wanna just fucking bolt a Ruwala, I'm okay with that. Also is hasty damage. This does open us up to an unlicensed hearse being able to take this anger, but it's not the worst thing that could happen in the world. Okay, so apparently they're going to go for the mana screw. Got it. Delver doing Delvery things. Um, we got another Faithless Looting, which I don't hate. Stifle me, bro. Um, let's grab a Badlands this time. Yeah, we're going to Looting here. We're going to Looting again. Um, pitch and pitch. We definitely want to keep the land. I think we want to keep this future in because it's going to matter. We do have to watch out for Hydro Blast, apparently. Like, I did not realize that Delver actually played that fucking card, but apparently it does. I guess I could just start swacking for six, but... See what our opponent does here. They have another wasteland, or were they banking on that? Okay, they're pondering. I mean, I don't know why this matters. Hey, what's up, baby? We can we can fucking deal through the turn. That's fine. Oh, did you find your squeaker? You really found one of the squeakers from her toys, as you can clearly hear in the background now. <laughs> she, she's having some fun. She uses not to shuffle. Okay. Assets are, oh, okay, cool. So we're we're just drawing all the cards then. Which I'm actually pretty okay with. So let's get a Taiga in. Let's try to force their hand, maybe. So we'll see if we can get them to do something here. We have one mana. Yeah, let's pump one of these. See if we can force their hand. So like what? Anger of the gods would completely fuck us over. Yeah, we're gonna wait. Cause like if they anger, we're kinda fucked. I have no idea if their deck plays anger of the gods or not. But we're, we're just gonna kinda hold back for a little bit here. Deal two damage to each creature without one. Okay. So it's a good thing that we held back. That That's actually pretty good for us. Into a Dragon Rage Channeler that isn't going to be able to do anything, which is fine. So what we'd like is some kind of explosive-ass draw here. So what? Okay, if we do this... We play Putrid Imp. Chuck, Chuck, play a Hollow One for free? I don't hate that. Hopefully this resolves. This doesn't resolve, we're kind of sad. Okay, it resolves. And it's a 2 2, which helps. Actually, I actually should have fucking played that now that I think about it. Okay, so that eats a force. Okay, that that's actually kind of okay. I I'm kind of an idiot. I should have fucking wait. Huh? How did? Oh, okay. They exiled a Murktide region and then a. Uh... Oh, okay. I see what happened there. So I should have played the land and cracked it. I'm kind of an idiot. I forgot that I can just fucking pay for it. But they're also in top deck mode, which is helpful. And this Dragon Ray Channeler is never going to be more than a fucking two or more than a one one. Fortunately, we are in top deck mode as well. Uh, 
But, okay, they're expressive iteration. So let's see what they've been, if they've been anything. Okay, so they liked whatever they found. That's kind of annoying, but whatever, I guess. Assuming I'm, it means that's removal for future damp. Mystic Sanctuary, they don't get anything back. Delver of Secrets. And Unholy Heat for two. This is actually enough to kill this thing. Okay. So we need to draw something really good here. Basically what needs to happen. Luckily, they don't really have much of a clock. Um, fuck it. Play Ruwalla. Walla Walla Bing Bang. This is bigger than both of their creatures, assuming it lives. So I can start fucking attacking through their shit. Delver could theoretically flip, though, which is annoying. And it does. But then Expressive Iteration, because why not? Such a busted ass fucking card. Hydroblast doesn't do anything. They bend it. But the question becomes are they just going to hold this Insectile Apparition on defense forever? It's a Dragon Rage Channeler. So they're they're just going to prioritize getting blockers on the battlefield, I guess. Yes. They're, they're just going to try to block their way out of this, basically. All right. So, yeah. They're, they're going to start attacking with the Insectile Aberration, which is whatever. would like something useful here. That's a Vengevine that I literally can't do anything with. <laughs> We're gonna block, we're gonna fucking kill it. Really? I mean, we might as fucking well, right? Like, unless I guess like a bounce spell or something? Like, oh, okay. Um, so, like, there's a very slim chance we can still win this, but I really don't think it's worth wasting our fucking time here. Yeah, I think we're just gonna go to the next one. I kind of punted away game one. We'll, we'll let them have it. it, it's whatever. We'll go into the last one here, see if we can three, two. I don't feel like fucking trying to get through this currently. Like, we kind of fucked it. We, we kind of punted it away, but whatever. We'll go into the last match, see if we can win this one. I don't feel like fumble fucking my way through another 20 fucking minutes of trying to grind this shit out. All right, let's see. On to is the last one. Let's see if we can get our fucking shit back. All right, we're up against someone who is currently 0-2. Zack the Creeper. All right, let's see what they're doing. Um, I mean, I actually don't hate this hand. Well, our opponent's being friendly, which means they're probably on something broken as fuck. Whenever your opponent says good luck, have fun, it means they're on some kind of broken combo deck. Once upon a time. Okay, so I'm guessing this is Elves. Okay. Please don't thought me, bro. Oh, they're on Nick Fit. Okay. Well, that's a little awkward because we're about to give them some extra lands. Huh. So th this is this is a little awkward. Um. I think we'll wait. We'll hold off for a turn. See if we can draw into something good to be able to spin these root wallas into. But Veteran Explorer means Nick Fit. Which means their creatures are probably going to be bigger than ours. This is mildly annoying. So what? Are they going to get Ball Therapy flashback to Ball Therapy? Guarantee you they are not naming anything we have in our fucking hand here. Garen fucking T it. 
Okay, so they're not gonna kill their veteran explorer. Um, I think we just want a Badlands here. Unless they can just like sack their veteran explorer instant speed or something. Okay, I don't hate street rate. That's a redraw. Give me something good. Do another lion's eye diamond. I mean, I guess we're gonna cast it. We might as well. Um, do I want to start getting in now? I think the answer is yes. We're gonna get in for nine, assuming they can't kill anything. Pretty hefty sum of damage. Oh, let's see whose deck is more broken, I guess. Grab a tiger. Pump it. Pump it. Pump it. Wacky for nine. No, he's going to... Punishing fire on that... Okay. Maybe this is just like punishing end then? Okay, so I guess I'm always schwacking it for six, but it's something. And now we just need to draw into something relevant. Collector Ufi. Okay, well the Lion's Eye Diamond is irrelevant now then. <laughs> now we're just gonna sit it. Sit here staring at each other, which is fine, I guess. Um They're stuck on land, so I don't really want to swing into this Veteran Explorer. I think we'll wait. We'll just sit here for now. I'll just keep taking the Veteran Explorer beats. I don't really give a fuck about that. Burning Wish? I'm assuming for a land? This is some kind of weird ass Jund shit with veteran explorers for some reason. But, oh, Anger of the Gods. Okay, well, I guess it's a good thing I'm not fucking swinging out then. Uh, play the other Bloodstain Mire, and I guess we're gonna pass the turn. Like, the nice part about this is this isn't gonna get them lands off of their veteran explorer. Like, if they wanna Anger here, I'm a okay with that. Um, they're not okay. They're gonna play tireless track. Are they gonna try to grow their tireless tracker out of the anger range? Is that what's going on? Well, we're gonna fetch. Let's grab a bad land. See what we can hit. Faithless looting, in fact. Um, that's looting. See what we can hit. Ruwalla and Gak. Ugh. I think we're just gonna chuck these and hold on to the Ruwalla is the problem. Because like if they want to if they want to anger the gods, I'm actually okay with it. Because like I said, they don't get lands off their veteran explorer if they do. Okay, so they finally hit some land. They can't activate this, so they can't actually grow their fucking blue or their tireless tracker. They have to get rid of their own collector oof to do this. Getting in with the oof. Do I care? Is there anything in my graveyard yet that I care about? No. We'll take two. That's fine. Take the two. We are not taking your bait, sir. That's a basking root. So that's that's interesting. Is that gonna eventually get us a Hogak back? So what do I want to do here? Because the problem is, is this veteran explorer, if it dies. Maybe I wanna try to bait the anger out. Like I'm thinking I just want to try to bait this anger. Like, as weird as it seems.
I also do have a Fatal Saluting, I suppose. Okay, they're just gonna play it once upon a time. Just play your damn anger, dude. Come on. It's a Bayou. Another clue they can't do anything with. <laughs> okay, holds back. Fatal Saluting. Let's see what we hit off this face. LED and a Bloodstain Mire. Chuck that. I mean, I guess we're chucking these. Like, we kind of got to hold on to this basking root walla. Fortunately. We're all kind of just staring each other down now. Like, unfortunately, they do kind of have free hits off of this collector doof, but whatever. But it's interesting that they're playing a Jund deck with Valakut in it. What are you doing? Wrist. Okay, again, mildly problematic. Okay, so they're finally going to sack their collector oof oh oh they're sacking that okay so now there's no there's no reason for me not to start attacking now since they did that so i will go grab my one basic I'm gonna get a bunch of clues but they still can't do anything with them because of the oof What, what what big thing does our opponent have that they ramped into? Oh! Okay, that is not what I was expecting. Well, actually, we'll let this resolve just so we can see more of their deck. I'm assuming they have enough mountains if they're doing this, but I'm curious to see what our opponent's doing. All right, how many mountains do you have, opponent? I'm assuming you have enough. This is this is interesting. Very, very interesting. So basically I just want to fucking race them. Okay, so they got a bunch of mountains. Okay, cool. We'll concede. We won't make them actually target us. Um interesting. Ape shift nick fit. That that's something. Okay, so what can we do here against Scape Shift Nick? We are 100 percent bringing that in. Um Assuming they're going to have artifacts and enchantments, we probably want to bring that. They're probably going to bring in graveyard hate of their own, so probably take out some of our graveyard shenanigans. Life total matters. Take those out. Try something like this, and then just see if we can be faster than them. I think that's our best bet. Try to race them. Hold them off from being able to ramp, and then just race them. I think is our best bet. This is completely unkeepable. This is completely unkeepable. And I guess we're keeping this. Um, I mean, I guess and the land at the bottom. Uh, this is not the way I wanted this to end by any fucking means. Um, can't grab the Badlands and let's spin our hands. All right, he's gonna once upon a time. That's, that's fine, I guess. Oh, you cocksucker! Really? <laughs> I didn't even spin into anything relevant. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, so this this is over. Like, there, there's no coming back from this. There, there just isn't. Opponent actively has an endurance. We literally spun into nothing. I guess we're gonna try it again. Hey, we hit two root wallas. Um... He's gonna show we hit another revenge vine, but they're gonna fucking shuffle it in unless they miraculously somehow don't have a green card. Which of course they do. I mean, I guess we have two root wallas now, which is something. We got rid of a couple of things that were relevant. However, we are gonna ramp our opponent, which is annoying. Well, apparently the magic gods do not want us to go positive today, which is annoying, but I guess we'll see. 
I mean, they get to Cabal Therapy, yes, but I don't know what they're going to name. I guess we'll get to see what they name. But yes. Unfortunately, we only get one land, but at least we still get a land. They're going to get one of each. I'm curious what they name here. Taking their sweet time deciding what they want to name. What do you name, opponents? Name Street Wraith. Okay, that was a whiff. I guess we'll see what they play here. Uh, oh, Jesus. Ooh. Yeah, this is good. Um, and we don't even have white man. That is annoying. Well, we're probably dead. That sucks. Um, we kind of just gotta hope they don't have the scape shift, and that we draw into white mana. There's nothing we can do. So that's the turn. If you got scape shift, you got scape shift, and I'm dead. Oh boy. Now I gotta find a way to kill two of these. Okay. I mean, that's white mana. Is it too slow? And okay, we're gonna play this out. I don't like where we're at, but maybe they get greedy and attack with one of them and we can kill the other one. Smart thing is they're just gonna hold back until they find their escape shift. Get greedy, please. No. Okay, well, we're gonna do this now just to get it over with. Grab our plateau. They know we have the wear tear. Hopefully they don't have protection spells in hand. That gets rid of one of them. Assuming they don't have protection. Okay, let's get rid of one. another route is it worth it just swinging in now question like it might be like it might be worth it just to start trying to get damage in it's a problem i mean yeah fuck it just start getting in with everything i guess you need to start racing up what why didn't let me attack the fuck Okay, well, that sucked. Still just kind of hoping that they don't fucking find their escape shift. Okay, there's another veteran explorer, I guess. That's another thing we gotta worry about. Get another wear terror. <laughs> the Vengevine we can't cast. Got it. Well, we're going to get it flying so we can at least start hitting it for something. But it can't be blocked. What? You've got to be kidding me. Really? <laughs> Not like this deck. God damn it. All right. Well, we're really fucked now. Oh, well, there's Valakut, so we're super duper fucked. I literally do not think there's any way we can get out of this. Do they just have the scape shift? All right, you got us, opponent, you got us. 
Well, that is not how I wanted that to end, but uh, like I said, sometimes uh, magic gods give it and they take it, and apparently they did not want us to do anything today. Um, well, I thought this might be my main deck, but uh, apparently maybe not. Um, yeah, maybe I'll go to an actual tier deck next week. Maybe I'll play fucking... I don't know. It looks like Depths is in a really good spot, but I'm really bad at that deck. Maybe I'll just go back to Reanimator like I had originally planned. Maybe I'll fumble fuck my way through Painter. That seems really, really good in general. But uh, anyways, on that note, I am going to head out of here. I got to go make dinner. Um, Let's see who we can kick you off to today. Hold on one second. Who is on currently? Um, Speaking of depths, let's kick you on to this guy. Looks like he's playing uh, some depths today. So y'all have some fun over there. Looks like he's playing uh, Re Naya Depths. Y'all have fun over there. I will catch you next time. I'll see y'all on Thursday. And as always, y'all stay salty.